Shut up and sit down. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores. Yo, what up OGs, Grow420 Guide here and welcome back to season six. Today we're gonna finish up our germination by transferring our seeds out of this tap water and on to their individual plates within these paper towels that are gonna be damp and moist and they're gonna continue their germination process in these paper towels for another couple days or so. Our seeds have been sitting in these shot glasses here within their tap water for roughly 18 hours. So it's time to transfer them out of there so they don't get waterlogged or drowned. Now we're also going to be incorporating a little bit of cling wrap in to our next step. We're going to, after we get our seeds within the paper towels here, we're going to lay some cling wrap over our damp paper towel and that's going to help ensure that we keep our humidity levels up there and our paper towel stays nice, damp, and moist. Now, living in Southern California, our humidity is relatively low. It's a very dry area, um, so the, the moist paper towel does dry out rather quickly if I don't do anything to kind of seal in the humidity. Keep in mind though, if you do do this, oxygen still needs to be able to get to the seeds. That's why we're just going to be laying a little bit of cling wrap over our paper towel. So let's get to transferring out our seeds. We'll start with our Azora Haze over here. Just gonna go ahead and move these just kind of down and out of the way. Okay. I'm gonna fold up our paper towel here. Now you can use cheesecloth or paper towel for this step. I prefer paper towel only because sometimes when you're using cheesecloth, the taproot will actually grow through the cheesecloth and it kind of makes for it a pain in the ass to get out. Sometimes you can damage your taproot, so we're just going to go ahead and take our seeds here, dump them out. Might have a little excess water on this plate that we'll take care of afterwards. Our seeds didn't come out. Come on, seeds. Come on. All right, we're going in there with our fingers. Boop. Just spread them out in there. Want to give each individual seed plenty of room so your tap roots aren't getting tangled in there. Like I said, we have a little excess water, but we're just gonna leave it for now. So our Azor Haze is done. Let's go ahead and get some cling wrap on top of her. Okay. Just lay it on top, just like that, and we're done. So we're just gonna move down the line here Moving on to the purple kush. And that's basically all we're doing for today's video, OGs. Just a simple video, just finishing up our germination process. Now the germinate, doing this with your seeds, the germination process helps you get a head start. Now, like I said, you can just plant right into soil, but it's not so optimal. This gives you a better success rate of germinated seeds, not only germinated seeds, but sprouted seeds too. This plate has a lot of water. Hopefully that paper towel will absorb that. Okay, yeah, this plate's got a lot of water. We're actually just gonna try and dump some of this back into the plate. That got a little messy. Okay, we're not gonna do that again. Now within the steps on the Crop King Seed website, it doesn't mention anything about cling wrap or using a Ziploc baggie. Um, so if you're trying to follow those exact steps, I wouldn't necessarily do this unless you live in an area like I do and you, you really need to. Because if I don't do this and I forget about my seeds and forget they're germinating, then man, five hours to seven hours later, this paper towel is completely dry and damage has been done to the seed. You want to make sure that they stay moist and dark in a nice room temperature climate. All right, so now we got our Jack Herrera.
Come on, Jack. You can do it. You can do it. There you go. All right. Just about done here. And our last set of seeds are ice rack. I'm running out of room up here. Okay. Paper towel. Okay. And ice rack. Now, I forgot to note to, to mention that these ice rack seeds that I just poured out, they've been cracked open and there's a bit of a taproot showing. And also with our purple kush, there's a little bit of taproot showing on both those seeds, which kind of surprised me because um, if you remember in our other video, our purple kush seeds sink immediately to the bottom. Generally speaking, that means it was a bunk seed. There was a hole in the seed and it filled up with water and it immediately sank. But that's actually not the case with our purple kush. And it really surprised me because every other time that's happened to me, um, it's been a bad seed. But I saw a taproot on both of those purple kush seeds. So that made me happy. That's awesome. And to finish up cover up our ice rack and we are done. Now we're just gonna basically be leaving these plates as is. We would go through here and we would turn off this light right over here, just like so, leave them in a nice dark environment, close up the closet door right over here so it's completely dark. But uh, we gotta finish up the video so I'm gonna turn back on this light over here. And yeah, so that pretty much concludes the second step to germinating our crop king seeds. Nothing really to it, just a simple going through the motions, finishing up the germination step here. Hopefully in a couple of days our taproots will be showing, we'll be ready to plant into our five gallon pots and get them underneath our G8 LED lights. So with that being said, OGs, that is going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to comment and like, and as always, OGs, subscribe so you're not missing out on any of this awesome content for season six. We're going to try and pump out as many videos as possible. Hopefully it's daily. Um, but yeah, like, like today, this video really didn't need to be made just because it's so simple. It's so redundant, but I figured, you know what? I'm going to make it for my OGs because I love them. So OGs, with that being said, we're going to end the video here. Tomorrow, I am going to be uploading the Northwest road trip slash vlog. I'm super excited to share that with you guys. I hope you guys are excited as I am. So peace out, OGs. I will see you guys tomorrow. I forgot to mention, you want to be checking on your paper towel periodically through this step of the germination process. Every couple hours or so, you want to come in here, check the dampness of your paper towel. If it's dry or it's going dry, you want to reapply some water, re-moisten it up. If you're using a cling wrap or a Ziploc baggie, just go ahead and reinsert it. Make sure if you are using a Ziploc baggie, you are not sealing the bag all the way because you are cutting off the seed's oxygen supply. Make sure that Ziploc baggie is open. Just like with this, oxygen is able to get under that cling wrap and still provide oxygen to the seed. Um, other than that, you want to keep your seeds germinating for a couple days, up to seven days, and then you'll see some tap roots. After seven days, if you don't see any tap roots, you can do a last, last ditch effort of throwing your seed back into the water glass for a couple of days. If you still don't see any signs of a tap root after that, then your seed is not viable. Just go ahead, throw it away, and start over. Other than that, leave your plate in a room temperature climate with the lights off. Make sure it's nice and dark and let your, your seeds continue germinating. Peace out, OGs. Crop King Seeds. World-class cannabis seeds. Available online or in stores.